Buttons are push style objects that react to a user mouse click. They're associated with an action that triggers something to occur, some code to execute, or to perform some task. For example, a button might have an action attribute set to print. When the user clicks the print button, the printing functionality in your code would be executed. Here we're going to associate this particular button with an image of the Google logo, and we can just paste that in. Now we can preview it, and we can see whether it took effect. Looks like we need to save first. Now we can preview and see if our image is being pulled in. And again, that's an image referenced by a URL. Now if we go ahead and run the code behind this form, uh, a little bit of code that has the on action statement in it, we'll be able to see the actual Google logo as part of the button itself. Let's take a look now at a button edit. A button edit is a regular data handling form field that has a button appear next to it. So it does take up two spaces in terms of location and width, an extra piece there for the button. The button then has an action associated with it and typically is used as a pop-up, uh, the ability to uh, trigger a pop-up window of choices or a pop-up window of more information or something else to occur, some sort of detail related to that field. Now if we preview it, we can get a sense of how that will look. And if we go ahead and run our little program again, we've created a space for that particular field. And if we were in an input, we would see that, that button available. So currently in this little program, the Google button there is just displaying some text to that new field. Now we can see the difference between a button and a button edit is that the button edit has all of the form field properties that you'd expect, including constraints. So again, it works just like any other data handling form field, but with the additional option of, or additional uh, attribute of that button to the right that can be associated with an action. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples. Here's the button example in the widgets sub program in the demo uh, overall program. And we can see the difference between the menu handling the on action statements with those buttons and an input. And simply clicking through these you can see how the which button has been pressed as well as uh, the properties being set on the buttons. Now the button edit on the other hand again has some different more form field handling style properties and reacts with the button click to do something. In this particular example, you'd see on the output uh, of the command line area a, uh, the word hello being sent there. Now let's take a look at another example that'll give us a sense of it being used in a, in a regular application. This example, we're going to go ahead and look in at the orders area and pull up an order form. And as the user moves into a field, we see the little button edit, when triggered, brings up this particular window and allows them to choose a stock selection. So anytime the user is in that field, here we're currently in an input array, that window will be opened and the user can make their selection.